What is up you guys, Austin here. So I get the question a lot, is respiratory school hard? So is it harder or easier than nursing school? Is it harder or easier than any other medical profession? So I'm gonna answer all those questions today. So I actually know of someone who was in the nursing program, they failed out and then they came over to respiratory because they thought, hey, this is pretty easy, I think I can do this too. Well guess what, they failed out of respiratory as well. Now there are a lot of factors that play into if someone's gonna be a good student or a bad student. So if you look at nursing school versus respiratory versus physical therapy assistant school or even rad tech, they're all their own beast. So you're all going to be learning something new. So it's going to be new to you, um, new information. You got to know how to study. You got to know how to take in new information, uh, how to be able to take tests. In my opinion, the prerequisites to get into RT school aren't that hard. But once you actually get in the program, I would say the first semester is probably one of the hardest. Um, I know that we start out with 18 and we graduate with six, about, I'd say two thirds of the class dropped out or failed the first semester. Now this is because, once again, like I said, everything is new. Um, they also throw everything at you at once to see if you can actually handle everything. If you can survive the first semester, you can most likely survive the program. So in RT school, there's gonna be tons of memorization. You also have to learn the concepts of why you're doing something, why you give a certain therapy, how this could potentially save someone's life, comparing this to anatomy and physiology, um, AMP was mostly mes memorization, so you just have to memorize it, take a quiz, take a test. You did have to know some of the physiology and understand how it worked, but in respiratory school you go a whole lot more in depth because you're going to be dealing with this on a daily basis. Um, compared to someone taking AMP 1, AMP 2, I know people that took that and it has nothing to do with their major. How I handled these two things was I made digital note cards, I used the app Anki, a-N-K-I, I highly recommend it. As well as I just wrote stuff down. I just went over it and over it and over it again and again. I went diff went over different scenarios in my head as to why I would do something, why I wouldn't do something, why I would give a certain drug, why I wouldn't give a certain drug, just different scenarios. So uh, you have to be disciplined. If you want to be successful in RT school, you definitely have to be disciplined. You have to understand that if you want to pass, you have to do what it takes. So I had certain classmates that would... Uh, go out on the weekend, they'd party, they'd do whatever they want. However, I would stay in and I'd study for a good two to four hours. So when we had breaks in between classes, some people would go out for lunch, they'd do whatever, I would study. Did those people pass? Some of them did, some of them didn't. However, I also finished off my class and I got brought into a society for the respiratory therapist. Now, if you look at nursing school, you have to do the exact same thing. You have to be disciplined, you have to know when to study. You have to just make time for school because if you want to pass, you want to be a nurse someday, you have to go ahead and you have to study, you have to be disciplined. This is like many things in life. So if you want to be fit, you have to eat healthy, you have to go to the gym, you have to be disciplined. Some people may also say, oh, well in respiratory, you're only learning the uh, cardiopulmonary side while in nursing, you're learning the whole body. N yes and no. I mean, in respiratory, you go in way more depth within the cardiopulmonary system, but cardiopulmonary system also plays a role with everything else in the body so you gotta learn everything else in the body as well. Um, nursing, I can't say exactly uh, what happens in nursing school because I haven't been there but you do go over the whole body however you probably don't go in as much as the cardiopulmonary side as a respiratory therapist. I mean once they get on the job uh, there are different certificates and everything that a nurse can take to go ahead and become a little bit more proficient in some of those areas. But whenever a nurse wants something to do with the respiratory side, guess who they call? Hey Respiratory. I'm also going to be making another video talking about working as a respiratory therapist versus working as a nurse so you can see the differences about that. Um, if you guys want to check all the other videos out on my channel talking about respiratory, go ahead, feel free to. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.